Hey guys, I just don't feel like doing an intro right now. I'm just gonna get started. Okay, so today I am showing you um, my train case that my mom bought for me. And I was gonna film this downstairs, but my mom just brought her friend over. So if you hear laughter in the background, you know where it's from. Okay, so yeah, let's get started, I guess. So, okay, here is the whole train case and there's stuff on this desk. And the computer's the whole train case. And this is the tag for it. Okay. Uh, it is the Color Institute Professional Color and a classic aluminum train case in the 57 piece luxurious color collection which has 36 long-lasting eyeshadow colors, four color balanced long-lasting lip colors, two coal eyeliner pencils, black and brown, makeup brushes and applicators, four cream formula cheek blushers, four long-lasting chip-resistant nail lacquers, two lip contouring pencils, red and taupe, and a full-size blush powder brush. Here it is. This is the, this is the front. And hey, there's my camera. And, uh, see, like, an overhead view. And you open it, it's like it has, like, this little latch thing, and you open it like that. I just love doing that. I think it's so much fun for some reason. I don't know why, but I feel like I have, like, a briefcase or something. So, you open it, and then, uh, it's not like one of the train cases where you put your own makeup in it. It's, like, a preset train case, I guess. So this is all of the eyeshadow. They are, are in little nine piece sections because there are 36. Here's the first nine. Here's the next nine. Here's the next nine. And here's the next nine. And the blushes are also here along with the Eyeshadows. Yeah, so if you guys see any colors that you like, um, totally request a tutorial. I don't know why it's not focusing right now. But down here are the uh, makeup brushes, the eyeliner pencils, and the lip pencils. So this is one of the eyeliner pencils. It looks like this. This is in, it says it's in coal. And this is the color. I don't know if it's like broken off because I've never used any of these before. But I have opened it a couple of times so I never actually like used it, used it. So there's the color. Yeah, it's black. Okay. So here's the second eyeliner. Um, this is the one in black. Pure black, if you can see that, even though there is a glare. Yeah, that's, I think that's kind of better. Yeah, this is in pure black. And, ooh, yeah, I think the other one broke off. Here is the color. This looks really harsh. I'm kind of like scared to use it. I don't really like using um, eyeliner pencils because of how harsh they are. That's why I like I usually get like cream, cream pencils. If that makes sense. Like either the retractable ones or like the L'Oreal one that I have. It's like a good pencil eyeliner. It doesn't feel like a pencil. It feels like the cream to me. Okay, this is the first lip. Ooh, my stomach hurts. Sorry, I just ate. But this is the first lip liner, and this is in. Ooh, I like that name. Okay, sorry. And this is in Misty Mauve. I can't pronounce the word mauve. No, no. Um, yeah, but <laughs> anyways. Here's the color. It's really pretty. And the second 
lip liner egg out oh my gosh this looks really pretty already sorry um this is the second one and this is in okay this one is in there's a glare and it's annoying me because then you can't see the name of the color i'm sorry you guys but this is in tender sienna here is the color onto brushes. So here's the first brush. It looks like this. It kind of looks like a flat shader brush, I guess. I'm not really sure. But bristles are soft. So this is what the first brush looks like. So the second brush, which is a bit bigger than the first brush, looks like this. And I feel like this is a flat shader brush, but it's like really like thick at the front here, if you can see that. So I'm not sure what kind of brush this is, and it's really like wide too for like for it to be a flat shader brush. And my battery is about to die. Ah! Uh, if you know what this brush is, then can you guys tell me? All right, I got two sponge brushes. One on, I guess one app, one app, not brush applicator. There's one applicator on each side. And the last brush is the biggest brush, which is, they put it right in the middle. brush is the blush brush. Ha 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 ha. And it looks like this. Yeah, so that's the last brush. Okay, so now on to the lipsticks and nail polishes. Here I shut off and I have to go charge it. And then right now, like, I was about to press play then my camera fell my train case started to collapse and I had to, it, was, it was crazy okay anyways back to this i don't know if i said but they do match each other which i think is pretty cool and neat so the first set is a matching pink nail polish and lipstick and they look like this. This is the nail polish. Really pretty, like rose pink. It's not like a hot pink, and it's it's like it. I feel like it's like a shade of hot pink, but it's less harsh than a hot pink, if that makes any kind of sense. And the lipstick, which I will take out of this covering thingy is a more, uh, I just had the word and I lost it. It's a more like vivid look, I guess. Okay, the second set is a creamish. I would say this is like a cream set. Looks like this. And this is the nail polish. And as you can see, well, I hope you can see, this one, it's like really watery and like ill because this is the old train case. Like my mom has had this for years, but she's never given it to me until like now, a couple months ago. So, like these are all, none of these have ever been used. And I guess like time and not using it just caused it to, it to separate and look at the back this is gross but wait hold on let's I just want to make sure you guys see that and then you ready for this boom here's the back and it's so like gross and I guess I'm gonna have to throw it away because it's obviously like unusable but I thought this was a really pretty color. The lipstick still looks like it's in good shape. Uh, this is what it looks like. Like I said again, it's a cream nude, really pretty color. The next set is mm, a matching... Oh my goodness! Stay! Okay, the next set is a matching 
brown set. And this is the nail polish. It reminds me of like mocha or something. I don't know. And the same thing I just realized is happening to this nail polish too. It also has the yellow thing going on. But I don't know, that maybe just be the case or something. I don't know. Situation. And I can't even have any nail polish on this week. I was I was gonna paint my nails this weekend, but next week is a dance concert. We're not allowed to have any nail polish on anyways, unless it's like clear. And like what's the fun in that, you know? It's the lipstick is I feel like this is a more dark brown. It reminds me of like dark chocolate or something. So yeah. So I think in my opinion the nail polish is lighter than the lipstick. The last set is a red matching set. And they look like this polish. It's like, what can I say? It's like a blood red. Is that better? Okay, yeah, I think it's focused now. It's like a blood red, really, really deep, 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 like deeper than the red the nail polish that my mom wears. And my mom, that's like the only nail polish color that she wears. And hers is super deep, and this looks like even deeper. And the lipstick is also a deep red. This is like a very classic, pretty lipstick. I've always wanted a red lipstick. <gasps> and my friend Avery will be so happy. Avery, if you're watching this video, I finally got my red lipstick. Because she always gets mad at me when I don't wear red lipstick to competitions. So, even though we only have two more competitions left. Again, this is the red lipstick. Very classic. Reminds me of like... Celebrities or like movies. Hey guys, so uh, sorry that my camera cut off. I'm listening to music on my phone. Okay. Um, yeah, but sorry that my camera cut off, and basically that was the end of the video, anyways. I was just about to make like a little like credits thing. Ow! I just scratched myself. But, um, I feel like that's kind of like it, like not like interacting. So I decided to just make a web a webcam a webcam video. Again, sorry that my camera cut off and ran out of memory. But that was like I said, that was basically the end of the video anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will talk to you next time. Bye!